Alright guys, so as we did with the crepes, in no particular order, but just pieces that I really loved um, or I've worn a lot. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So this first piece here is a CP Company 50 Philly overshirt. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Am I back? I'm back. Let me give you a little tour larger, guys. We have this CP Company. There's my waist right there and it comes down just below the waist as you can see really really dope all right guys this is a beautiful piece it's a shirt that i've just worn and worn you know um yeah i'm gonna put it away because to be honest like i wore it a lot last year or should i say this year so i'm gonna put it away give it a bit of a rest but it's a piece i like when i get certain pieces i wear them you know i, I do like to um put things in the corner and, and wait for the right time but when the time comes i might give them a little run out so yeah cp company 50 philly over shirt really nice super dope obviously got the lens right there tidy all right guys keeping with the theme um this piece right here is a cp company times clark garment dyed liner flax jacket with goggles let's take a look oh, 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 oh. oh shit you see what it do what it do when it don't when it is what it isn't you might have spotted the old google's goggles boom there you go, can you see me? I'm the ascending how to splash to find another rest. So guys, this is a piece that I bought. Again, I wish I'd waited for the sale on these. You can actually find them on N Clothing and possibly a few places. Um, a nice, decent chunk off, do you know what I mean? So um, if you were thinking of getting it and you waited, well, here's a perfect time. They've got the black and they've got this and they've got the smock versions. But yeah, really nice piece. Um, it it's, it um, played a big part in this year for me. I wore it kind of, you know, just outside of spring moving, uh, sorry, just outside of summer moving into sort of autumn you know springy to be honest the weather's all be kind of messed up so i've kind of worn it across the year and through the year so really nice piece really kind of lightweight but also keeps the the um, cold away and the heat and so yeah super dope cp company clark's goggle jacket what are you saying next up we have this tiramisolata or as it's commonly known tela smergliata let's take a look Let's get into this piece here that I have today. Today we have this Stone Island spatula Migalomato or something like that. I haven't got my phone with me and I forgot the actual name of this piece. But it's a piece I wanted. Let me just give you the little close up. So guys, this is one of my super, super favourite pieces. I've been looking at these. I first saw it in the um, green colourway and I was like, I need that, but the price was exorbitant. Um, yes, I do use words like exorbitant. The price was quite high. So I finally managed to find this at the outlet store and I was so, so grateful. They only had one left. I'm on the lookout for a couple more of these for a couple of my followers. So if I do find them, I'll definitely hit you up. And I'm also looking for myself. Um, super dope piece. I mean, the sort of the side pockets, you know what I mean? And the, the sort of semi back pockets, which um, show up there really nice nice little color of course you've got your um, normal badge special in all its unspecialness just a really really nice piece all right guys so this next piece is a piece I've been looking for for a while and this is a peacoat a peacoat yes a peacoat let's take a look oh 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 here comes the hammer oh lord guys geez let me not even give you too much swag on the swag Ometer. Jeez, let me give you the little twirl RJ as you do. Little twirl to the RJ. You see the colouring right there? It's always multi-layered and always makes you feel like you're an admiral on Captain Bird's Eye's ship. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure I wanted to be on Captain Bird's Eye's ship because I would be Captain Bird's Eye. So it just makes you feel... So guys, I've been asked for a piece like this for quite some time. A Pico, a really nice one. And I just happened to find this in the cell shop in the corner somewhere. Um, and yeah, I got a really good price for it. And yeah... What can I say? It's a piece that is classic. I think everyone should have one in their wardrobe. I, I doubt I'm gonna buy another Pico because why would I? This is this is all I need. But yeah, really, really super dope. Um, Stone Island Pano, Pano Speciale um, Pico. Um, yeah, well, it, it does what it says on the tin. Looks amazing. I feel like Captain Birdseye and what more do you want? Next up, we have this beautiful piece from the 1980s, a vintage Stone Island hoodie. Let's take a look. 
Oh, oh my god, I'm in green. It's in this beautiful green that has faded over years. In case you hadn't noticed, we've got this beautiful vintage badge. But you know, the vintage badge, green edge, gotta love it. But look at the buttons, guys. Look at the buttons. You have the metal buttons. You see those metal buttons right there, burnished with Stone Island. You know, very nice. So, this one right here, I just really, really love this piece. I love the color. You know, it's like, I don't know if this was garment dyed, but it's very reminiscent of a garment dyed piece because of the age you know it's sort of faded in different areas you know I'm not sure how much you can see it but um check the video um that I did on this but yeah really really nice like I've worn it worn it as you can see I've still not repaired it I kind of just like it as it is I'm gonna do get these bits sorted out of course because I think the more I leave that it's just gonna disintegrate but really really nice piece it's a piece I've rinsed like you might have seen me if you saw me you might have seen me this multiple times I don't really give a damn, you know, I really love this piece. However, you know, it's freshly laundered. Mm, so I'm gonna put it away and just, you know, let it sit um, for a bit, you know, just because, you know, you don't wanna over rinse pieces, you know. So I'm gonna let this sit chill, but yeah, love this, man. The hood is just nice, you know. Um, yeah, a few minor repairs needed, but really, really nice piece. All right, guys, we've reached the end. And the last piece is this beautiful Parker from Plurimus. Left hand side, right hand side, walking down the street with your hands in your sky, work here. Perfect for that, perfect positioning. And in these um, pockets you can keep maybe a Morris Minor, yeah, a Morris Minor or a tiny little Fiat in the other side. So I put a Morris Minor in here, a Fiat in there, and then whenever I need a, um, a couple of motors, I can just go into my pocket or my Skyrocket. Guys, I can't explain how much I love this piece. Ever since I got it, I've been wearing it, like I've been wearing it. None of that, oh, put it in the cupboard, let it marinate, none of that stuff, I've been wearing it. Beautiful color, um, Fabio has, he's exceeded himself, um, and yeah, it's just a beautiful jacket. I need to put it away, otherwise I'm gonna wear it every day, you know, cause I can wear this all year through, winter, autumn, spring, summer, beautiful piece like I said once the new year starts hitting I'm gonna put this away let it marinate for a bit and yeah really really beautiful piece Mwah, bellissimo and I can't I just can't speak enough of this color that the variation and the, you know this is what the CP company palace should have been you know you know it, it showed the colors with the purple and you know it looked like you had that nice garment dye in in, in person it just wasn't that so um, yeah guys this has been my top five jackets, my top five nice bits of kit, shall we say. And yeah, it's been a really nice year. Do you know what I mean? Remember, clothes don't make the man, man make the clothes. Um, but yeah, it's just been dope.